Hi guys, uh, welcome to Code View. So today I'm going to share one of my interview experience that I recently had with Tesco. So if you not aware of Tesco, let me give a brief introduction about the company. So Tesco is one uh, online grocery uh, and uh, retail uh, retail service provider that is based in UK and Europe region, right? and uh, if you uh, not aware of this company then uh, you can compare it like we have in us that is walmart so recently i attended an uh, interview with tesco for hd3 and i also already have attended for hd2 right so i can share my interview experience to you all so that if someone is uh, going to uh, appear a for Tesco HD roles uh, interviews, then then ca they can be benefited from my from my experience. Okay, so let's start. So why we can consider with the uh, uh, Tesco uh, interviews, right? So company is uh, one of the good company that provides a very good uh, employee benefit. Also, it uh, the the interview uh, level, right? The complexity of interview is medium to hard. So it is not. Uh, but the one good thing is that it does it, it does not have a uh, lot of rounds like other companies have. It has mainly uh, most of like you can have three rounds of interview only. And if you talk about the uh, pay skill, so it provides the competitive salary with Google, Microsoft, and uh, other companies right so we can definitely consider for uh, this uh, tesco as a your next uh, company right so if you talk about the interview process in tesco so it mainly has uh, it mainly has uh, three rounds of interviews that is uh, r1 is a technical and machine coding round right and in technical interviews it basically ask about your uh, tech knowledge about uh, current roles and responsibilities right and in machine count, machine coding if I, you will be given a set of one of the problem and uh, sometimes it is lead code otherwise it will be mainly uh, uh, it will be mainly a scenario based problem real real life scenario based problem that you can counter and you have to give a solution that is uh, that will be like a, a working code and with your test cases right so you cannot directly write your classes you have to uh, consider your uh, package structure and uh, all these things you have to keep in mind right and then second round it will be a system design round and in system design round you it will be uh, sld and lld both right so right and uh, in uh, so third round if you clear uh, any of the one round from the r1 or r2 you will be called for the leadership round right so leadership round and behavior round to check your mental strength and uh, how you will behave with the team right so all these things will be checked so uh, i will uh, discuss in the next slide what type of what questions i have been asked right in the interview so one important thing uh, uh, one important thing that uh, i uh, forgot to mention that in uh, in the any of three rounds that i mentioned right you have to perform really well in at least two of the rounds either in the system design and uh, uh, coding round as well as in the leadership round so any two rounds uh, they will be considering uh, for your final uh, selection right so if you talk about uh, my uh, round one, right, that is uh, technical knowledge and machine coding round. So in this round, I have been asked uh, first, uh, we uh, give the like we take uh, introduction uh, round that will go on for five to 10 minutes and they will ask uh, about uh, your technical skills, your roles and responsibilities and uh, also some of the basic Java questions that interviewer asked, right, in the first round and then uh, we came to the coding round that i had to uh, do the live coding uh, with my, on on any of the id either you can prefer eclipse or please with your project also will be mentioned right so all the project structure you have to give so the questions that uh, is shown on the screen then if i read the question uh, the question says that uh, tesco has 32 stores right 
and 10% uh, of the store have around 800 colleagues each so any in any store uh, a colleague can work in a multiple department right so if you talk about the department and there is a various shift in the department right so in bakery department it is come uh, 8 am to 10 am checkout department 10 am to 12 am and dairy department uh, 14 uh, 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 okay 14 pm to 19 pm right so it is in uh, uh, time zone 24 hour uh, time zone right so the question is that uh, if you uh, think about the, like if you can read the question uh, given the above shift uh, split of shift uh, we have to provide an api or the method to return the different shift for a colleague right if they want to work in a multiple shift how can you like one employee uh, like out of uh, 800 colleague each store has right so how many colleagues in how many uh, what we can say shift a person can, will be able to work if in a different uh, department yeah so these things and uh, we have to uh, design the backend api and method right and uh, like right so like if you choose any of the employee if one employee is uh, working from 8 to 10 he can work in 10 to 12 and 14 to 19 right so if uh, if you talk about the bakery department it is running from 8 to 10 and uh, the dairy department 14 to 9 so there is no collusion between these two things right so I, if you look at the question so it is like uh, what we can say a real life scenario based question and it is quite confusing but we have to identify like which uh, set of uh, uh, solution you can fit in right so in this uh, i was able to figure out that uh, if you think about the merge overlapping interval uh, uh, inter interval question right so that solution really fits and i was able to resolve and you, uh, and you don't have to run with the id this question you have to write your test cases with a negative and positive scenario and then only we have to run your uh, code uh, if it is successful able to uh, test cases are able to pass or fail right then only you will be able to uh, clear this round yeah now let's talk about the uh, once you uh, like uh, i score 75 85 percent or 100 percent then only you will be called for the uh, round two that is system design round and in system design round we are aware of I, i'll uh, disclose like uh, in this uh, round what i was asked so system design round the problem is statement was uh, design and implement a distributed shopping cart right so this was the problem statement that i was given by the interviewer and he clarifies me about the uh, functional requirements that uh, uh, distributed shopping cart uh, means uh, uh, multiple users can work on a particular uh, cart right so if you uh, log in with the uh, uh, if multiple users can log in on the same account right so multiple users can uh, add or delete um, items in the shopping cart any of the user can check out right and if one user is creating the cart then other users or also modify or add the item so if you can you can think like this uh, uh, this question as you have created an account on amazon right and you have shared your same account or a different account but you have a shared account with your family members your spouse your children or uh, your siblings and multiple users can work on the uh, same uh, account right uh, on the same card so this is the uh, problem is meant that i was given right if you clarify the functional one was very clear right and what you have to uh, what you have to uh, uh, give here so if you talk about the uh, non functional requirement the your system should be scalable right uh, you, you can it can support at least uh, i was given like 1 million to 50 millions of users 
and it should be durable scalable and security how will you manage the security and how will you manage the availability so here i have to uh, what yeah what uh, my solutions should consist i have to give the api uh, design api endpoint api endpoint will consist of your api methods your request response parameters and then json body security parameters in the header what you will be providing all these things you have to give and then db design what are different tables you will have uh, what we can say you will have a uh, sql or no sql databases and a physical architecture of your uh, system right so that is uh, hld also you have to provide then only we are moving to the low level designing of uh, this api design database design all these things you have to move yeah so uh, this round uh, i think roughly it went to 1.5 hours so uh, we also have to uh, optimize the time so that we are able to consist uh, uh, we are able to uh, give uh, proper solution of all these things that will be asked right and we also we can ask uh, a different uh, set of questions to the interviewer if we are moving in the right direction or not or uh, if i am something uh, thinking something and because uh, if uh, you th uh, think about uh, uh, system design rounds they are not uh, these are the open ended questions and they do never have a, a system, like fixed set of solutions so you can think uh, so everyone's point of view uh, will be different and uh, uh, like two person can think in a different ways when they are designing a system right so this will be open ended and uh, interviewer will be nice they will be helpful so feel free to ask any question in system gen rounds yeah so once uh, these two rounds is done we will be uh, ask for the leadership round behavior round so i have just mentioned uh, here few of the set of questions which can be asked uh, in this round right but you cannot uh, fake uh, what you are you cannot fake in this round right so always try to be uh, honest and uh, because this is a behavioral and uh, this is will be although the psychological uh, test i will also say and it will be going for 1.5 hours at least right so be honest whatever uh, you question because uh, the questions will not only ask like where do you see yourself after five years right why do you want to join a particular question or a particular company or why do you want to join tesco they will be asking a very detailed question and then you have to think pause for some time then only we have to answer after like thinking right and uh, like some of the teams uh, once like uh, you are uh, i i will uh, uh, share one of question that i was asked so the question was uh, uh, one of your team member has recently joined and he is catching up with the work and uh, but uh, most of the times he is not able to complete his work on time and uh, you are a senior member in the team so how are you going to help your uh, that uh, the teammate right that teammate that is not able to complete the work so how you go and uh, uh, they also ask some of the uh, questions like uh, how will your team members will trust you right what you will do to gain their trust if you are a new joiner yeah uh, how uh, quickly you fit in with the team so all these type of uh, things uh, all this type of question will be asked on your leadership uh, uh, how will you handle a team right and uh, there is uh, like you are uh, given a responsibility to complete a project with your team members you are the most senior member and uh, there are members who are lacking in the uh, uh, in, in the sense of technology so how are you going to tackle all these challenges and uh, do you complete your work on time and uh, what do we prefer on time delivery or the work in perfection right so we have to think and then only we have to answer these questions and feel free to uh, uh, any questions you have in mind feel free to put it in the comment and i will answers uh, regarding this leadership round or behavior round yeah
okay so these uh, are the set of uh, interviews that i had and uh, pay and packages right that i i have uh, uh, I, I will be sharing to you so always it depends on they provide a very competitive salary that i mentioned earlier and uh, the package for hd3 what i'm aware of it's a uh, uh, it's a like uh, you can get from 60 light to 1.2 to 1.3 CR, right? So that is, I think, good uh, pay package for uh, SD3 role, yeah? So thank you for this video. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for your time, yeah? So we'll see you in the next.